Hi, my name is Eric Dibble, Regional Sales Manager at HF Scientific. In this video, we will cover how to calibrate the MTOL Plus. We're going to review the proper calibration of the MTOL Plus. There are three different standards which are used, and each standard has a dedicated cuvette in the calibration kit. It is critical to keep the cuvettes free of fingerprints or scratches, basically anything that could scatter light. First, rinse the cuvette with a few milliliters of the standard solution by swirling the solution inside the cuvette. Then, pour the standard up to the shoulder of the calibration cell and cap it. Once all standard are poured and capped, we are ready to calibrate the instrument. Place the instrument in calibration mode by using the down arrow to highlight the cal mode on the instrument, and then press the enter key. The bottom of the screen will flash with the standard the instrument is requesting. Insert the first cell into the MTOL Plus. If this is the first time you have used this calibration kit, you need to index the cells to the point of the lowest optical interference. This is done by turning the calibration cuvette slowly about one eighth of a turn and allowing the instrument to settle. Once you find the place of the lowest reading, you will place an indexing ring, three are provided with each calibration kit, around the cap with the white band lining up with the raised mark on the front of the MTOL Plus. Indexing must be done for each cell, but only when a calibration kit is new. Once the cuvettes are marked, they can skip the indexing step on subsequent calibrations. As you can see, the instrument is requesting a 10 NTU standard, which is what we have just indexed. Allow the instrument to stabilize once the cuvette is in position and then press enter. The MTOL Plus will count down 30 seconds and take readings during this time period to calibrate this set point. Then it will request the next standard. As you can see, now it is requesting a 1 NTU standard. I have previously indexed this cell, so I place it into the instrument with the white band lined up to the raised mark on the front of the instrument. Allow a few seconds for the instrument to stabilize, and then press the enter key. The instrument will count down 60 seconds, and then request the third and final standard. You will repeat the procedure for the final calibration standard, and the instrument will either display cal good or cal fail. If the calibration fails, you can attempt to calibrate again, but most likely it is time to change your lamp, which we will cover in another video. At any point during the calibration, you may push down the arrow until ABRT, or abort, appears on the screen to cancel the calibration. Once a three-point calibration is stored in the instrument, you may choose to calibrate just the lower points by pressing down the arrow to skip the higher range calibration. Once you begin a calibration at one range, you must calibrate all standards below it for a successful calibration. Thank you for watching this video today. Please reach out to the HF sales team if you have any more questions.